Hey everybody, welcome back. We are on supply, and if you watch this whole video, you are going to be in such great shape. Now, it's going to get a little bit hairy, okay? I'm going to be talking about independent and dependent variables, and it's actually going to get kind of hairy, kind of confusing. Stay with me. Stay with me through this whole video. This is, the vid this is one of those videos that can just make your life in microeconomics so much easier, okay? What this one is called is supply is the marginal cost curve. Supply is the marginal cost curve. The marginal cost curve gives us the supply curve. That might even be a better name for this video. The marginal cost curve gives us the supply curve. So here we go, okay? Well, actually, before I even get into this table, let me define marginal cost. What is marginal cost? Marginal cost is the additional cost of producing one more good. It's that simple. It's the additional cost of producing one more good. Now we go to this table. Take a look at this table. We've got units of output, first one, second, third, fourth. If we make only one unit of output, our total cost, total cost TC, is going to be $1. To make two units of output, our total cost, $3. Three units of output, $6. Four units of output, our total cost, $10. But what we really want to know is our marginal cost because in economics, we make decisions at the margin. So marginal cost. We make the first one, we're going from making zero to one, cost of zero to a cost of one. Marginal cost, super simple, right? One dollar. When we go to make the second unit, okay, the second unit, the marginal cost, two dollars. Okay, one to three, additional cost, two dollars. To make the third good, now it's gonna go from the total cost of three to six, the marginal cost, of course, three dollars. To make the Fourth good, it's going to cost us four additional dollars, right? The additional cost, four dollars. This is our marginal cost curve. Now let's go graph it. And take a look at this, okay? This should look familiar. Dollars per unit, that's what we always have when we do supply and demand, and quantity. Now, we're going to look at these values right here as not just price. In fact, in this video, right now in this video, I don't even want you to think of them as price. Those values are marginal cost, okay? Those are marginal cost. These units of measurement, marginal cost. So here's what we're going to do. Just going to plot it out, right? At the first good, the marginal cost, $1. At the second good, marginal cost, $2. At the third good, marginal cost, $3. At the fourth good, marginal cost, $4. So there we go. We've got all these dots. And every supply curve, at the end of the day, if you zoomed in enough, would be a bunch of dots. I've said that for demand curves, it's true for them also. Zoom into every demand curve, it's actually a bunch of dots. Zoom into every marginal cost curve, it's a bunch of dots, okay? But I'm gonna connect those dots. Once again, that is the marginal cost curve, and it gives us the supply curve, okay? Before I get there, here's where that kind of confusing part comes in, okay? Marginal cost, when we refer to it, we refer to this line right here, marginal cost is the dependent variable, okay? You didn't hear that wrong, okay? If I refer to this line as the marginal cost curve, it is the dependent variable, and it's simple to see, guys. The marginal cost is dependent on which good we are producing. Think of it. The marginal cost is dependent upon which good we're producing. If we're producing the first good, we get some value. If we're producing the fourth good, we get a different value. First good, $1. Fourth good, $4. So the marginal cost depends on which good you're producing. So important. Why? Because curves shift in the direction of the dependent variable change. Everything about a function, guys, is trying to tell us what's happening to the dependent variable. That's the key. That's the final thing. That's the output of the function. It's the dependent variable. And so since we have the marginal cost is dependent, then guess how we're going to refer to this curve shifting? Up and down. Dependent is increasing at all independent. Sorry. Dependent is increasing at all independence or the dependent is decreasing at all independence. The curve shifts up and down. But don't worry, it's going to get a little hairier before all of the sunshine comes in and the clarity comes, okay? So stay with me. Now, marginal cost curve is the spike curve. I've been telling you that since the beginning, right? So why is that? Once we know the marginal cost, we're going to know the quantity supplied at every price point. Let me say that again. Once we know the marginal cost, we're gonna know the quantity supplied at every price point. That's why they're one in the same curve, okay? If the price was a buck 50, guess what the quantity supplied would be? One. If the price went to 250, the quantity supplied would be two. 
Why? Because we will supply a good as long as its marginal cost is below the price. If the marginal cost is above the price, we're not going to supply it. We'll supply a good as long as the marginal cost is below the price. If the price goes to $350, we're going to supply those goods for which the marginal cost is less than $350, which would be the first, the second, and the third. Notice, we're finding out the quantity supplied at each price point. We're finding out the supply curve. That's what the marginal cost curve is giving us. So the supply curve is, I'm sorry, the marginal cost curve is the supply curve, or vice versa. The supply curve is the marginal cost curve. Final part of where it's all hairy, right? We're going back to independent and dependent. You see, when I refer to this particular curve, when I say this curve is the supply curve, then what I'm looking at these as is not marginal cost. I'm looking at them as price. And price is actually the independent variable, okay? Quantity supplied is the dependent variable, okay? So it's going to get simple in a second. All right, let's just imagine we're making applesauce. Well, we need apples to make applesauce. Those are inputs to production. Very simply, guys, if the price of apples goes up, what's going to happen to our marginal cost for every unit of output? Let me ask that again. What's going to happen to our marginal cost for every unit of output? Our marginal cost is going to go up for every unit of output. The marginal cost curve is going to shift up. Marginal cost sub one, sub zero, okay? That is absolutely to correct to say the marginal cost is increasing. The dependent variable is increasing at all independent. So what happened to the supply curve? Well, when marginal costs go up, the supply curve is shifting, I just don't wanna block you guys, shifting left. What does that mean? The quantity supplied, which remember, quantity supplied, that is dependent upon the price. The quantity supplied is decreasing at all price points. The quantity supplied is decreasing at all price points. Notice how that works, okay? It's all about where the independent and dependent variable is. You refer to the marginal cost curve. This vertical axis is the dependent variable. So when you refer to it as a marginal cost curve, just talk about up and down. The dependent variable is increasing, decreasing. When you refer to the curve as the supply curve, okay, the dependent variable is being measured horizontally. Speak of the supply curve is shifting left and right. The de dependent variable increasing at all independent or the dependent variable decreasing at all independent. Oh my gosh, I know that that's just might make your brain hurt. But if you get this and you embrace it, I'm telling you, it's going to make your life easier in so many ways. Take one more look again, okay? Actually, common sense, clarity comes at the end, okay? Make an applesauce, price of apples go up, marginal cost increased, right? So it's gonna be more expensive to make all of these. Marginal cost is increasing, the MC curve shifts up. And when that happens, when our marginal cost increases, what does our common sense tell us? Oh, if the marginal cost increases, guess what? The quantity supplied, the quantity supplied at every single price point is going to decrease. The supply curve will shift left. Whew. I'm telling you guys, embrace it. I know it's a little bit hard. You get that down, oh my gosh, so many things in economics are gonna become easier for you. Supply, demand, they shift left and right. It's all about the dependent variable being right there. Marginal cost and every other marginal curve that we're gonna come across, we're gonna measure that right there. Those curves are always gonna shift up and down. Marginal curves, shift up and down. Supply and demand curves, shift left and right. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Thanks for hanging in on that video, and that is going to help you understand supply, demand, and so much more. See you in the next video.